Hello, everybody. My name is Eric, and today we're going to be doing Hello System again. This time, though, it is still technically a virtual machine, but it runs basically like running it on hardware. I'm just going to neo-fetch so you can see the kind of setup. This is a GPU pass-through VM. So basically, for every practical purpose, this is physical hardware. It will see the virtual 16-core uh, Xeon, which is actually an i9, but it sees it as a Xeon. It is able to use the RTX 2080 Ti fully hardware. Everything the 2080 Ti can do, this can do. And it can basically work as if it was native, but it's a lot more convenient from the perspective of trying out different operating systems because I can very easily switch between these. Now, the recording setup on Hello System, which first thing I want to talk about, is a bit convoluted, and unfortunately there'll be no desktop audio because there's no sane way I could think of to record that. So it doesn't use the Pulse audio stack that's common in Linux. It uses the OSS audio stack, which I believe was used on Linux all the way back before Alza. I might have that slightly wrong, so please forgive me. But it's like, it's a pretty limited sound stack. Works perfectly fine for most things. Like you can, you can listen to music on here and it sounds perfectly fine. It is able to support my audio interface at what appears to be reasonable quality, although it'll only be when I'm editing this video that I will find out, but hopefully. And it can play in perfect quality. So it's not terrible, but it is lesser. So in OBS, which I can just drag over here, it's interesting because we actually do get some, I guess you'd say Mac-like features. Like as an example, you can record to MOV. I can't show this, but you are able to. And you're also able to record using FFmpeg to ProRes. So they really put a lot of effort. I think this is a customized build. Now something puzzling they did was include the NDI plugin. And I thought maybe a way of getting all of this recorded will be to NDI this to my MacBook and then record it on there. But it turns out NDI, which is basically a way of two PC streaming without a capture card, does not work on FreeBSD. It works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. So that would have actually been impossible. So I'm not sure why that was included, but I just noticed that was there. Now there's, by default, no audio functionality whatsoever. Disabled, disabled, disabled. You cannot uh, record a microphone, which is it should be able to do, because that is possible on FreeBSD. Uh, you also cannot record desktop audio. And it is, from what I looked on the FreeBSD form, it would be very convoluted to do that. Which, to be fair, is just like a real Mac, where you have to install a virtual audio driver in order to record your desktop audio. Quite annoying, but still easy enough to do. So, now we've got the capture out of the way. The video capture is pretty straightforward, because it's just using just using the regular X capture that's the same as using OBS on Linux. So I'm going to try out some stuff. So first of all, let's try Caden Live again. Now that we've got now that we got a real GPU. Okay, this search is really annoying because it's like if you oh maybe we don't have good Caden Live, so I got to do sudo package install Caden Live, but it it just cuts you off randomly. I don't understand the logic here. The other thing that kind of annoys me is the alt thing for command because if you use a pc keyboard on a mac it's it's windows key so if you're used to that it's like it's jarring it should either use control as most people are going to install this on a pc or it should use windows which is super or command if you had a mac i've also i've got my desktop background set up so i don't have to do that in photoshop now th this is another thing that ju just feels a bit dated because I know a FreeBSD desktop never really took off, so you've got sort of a hodgepodge of Linux uh, desktop tools, custom tools, which I know they're going to completely build this custom eventually. So you can, this kind of reminds me of Windows XP. The best option in terms of preserving the image is this one. You can also center the image, only one, and that's for all three monitors. Another thing, speaking of monitors, is no high DPI support. Or apparently there is high DPI support, but it can't be manually enabled and it doesn't detect my 4K monitors as high DPI. So what that means is we're left watching small text. So sorry for anyone watching this video who's going to have a hard time reading the text because I checked, I spent quite a while looking and there was no obvious way. I did try some environment variables which work on some things. I also tried installing the LXQT configuration center. And we can do some stuff in here, but there's still no obvious uh, DPI, and I couldn't get a couldn't get a clear answer as whether that's the way it is. So 
There's some ports that don't work, but now let's open up Caden. Cade. No? Okay, maybe we have to do it from the terminal. Exit. Unidentified. That's weird, because there shouldn't... I wouldn't think there'd be any Wayland on Hello System. Now let's try something else. I don't know if this is how you do it. I want to try and install Steam, which I believe is done through Linux Shillator. Because some people wanted to see if we could game on FreeBSD. And I imagine we can. Also, just to show off the pass-through setup, I can... Uh, yes. Oh, no wrong username. But you can uh, SSH into the host. And you can also, if you have SMB set up, you can do that. I would not use this setup for malware testing for obvious reasons. For everything else, it's good. Oh, and this is the other annoyance with this. is Control-C, Control-Shift-C, doesn't do anything. Don't ask me why. Is it Alt? I think it might be Alt T. No. Uh, because even on a on a real Mac, it does. So I don't know why that's a thing. But that is probably the most frustrating thing is using the console here. That you cannot just Control C if you enter a bad command. I believe we can just. I might be yeah. We well, get the password wrong enough times that'll also let us go. But that's just a little. Little thing. Okay, so we've escaped that, and now I can put in my username for the host system. And not type my password for all of you to see, that would be pretty funny. Okay. Arch Linux, and we can see... Oh, the, this background is... Let's put this over my background so it gets darker. You can see it is running Arch, by the way. Arch Linux, x86-64, 5.15 kernel. I can get stuff from there. So in theory, I can just mount stuff from my Linux partition. But I know it's possible to get Proton going on this, so I'm going to try that. Okay, so from looking into this further, it looks like this would be a pretty pretty complicated process. So I'm going to try something a bit easier. And that is Minecraft, because that, I am almost certain, is going to work. Although, it detects it as Windows. Now, one of the problems with FreeBSD is, for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to have a user agent. But Linux, most, like, most not actual Linux software, like, if I remember correctly, this is a bunch of shell scripts, should work. That's interesting. So apparently, like, so that didn't... So, okay. So even running stuff like Minecraft is really difficult. That's kind of the problem. Like, I didn't even know going into this how, like, relatively... I know it's an absolute chore to get Netflix to work on BSD, but the problem with the system that's super obscure is it can just be difficult, even with compatibility layers, to run all this different software. It's amazing that NVIDIA provides a reasonably good, not amazing, but decent binary driver that has really... I don't think we've seen a single glitch in this whole video, which is pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to try and just... I'm going to try this. Never never uh, copy and paste commands from the internet to run as sudo unless you're really confident. Okay, we need to sudo that. But just, just a caution that... So I'm going to assume this is some weirdy with this uh, terminal, but for some reason, the command I'm supposed to run to run the build bot doesn't work. The thing doesn't work on its own. I was going to try the build bot to see if that could get it to work. Wow. Gaming on this uh, particular FreeBSD distro is certainly not easy. I thought Minecraft would be easy, but I guess because they've stopped distributing JAWS, it's actually become more difficult. I wonder, I guess I could try and download a really old version of it, but that's still like they're in an archive utility instead of what we wanted. But if I open that in Java, I see no reason that shouldn't work. Uh, okay, caused a reversing. Oh, yes. Still need the LWG. Okay, well, that's. 
I don't think that's gonna happen. Okay, well, you know, I think we'll just settle for open, open BSD. Okay, another terminal window, so I can just go... Mm, sudo package install open TTT. Did I just spell it wrong? I did. It's just my fault. Okay. We did it. Okay, well, I think it can... Okay, good. It's just going to download the open source graphics. Well, that's fine. I don't really care about the sounds, especially like, given we can't record them anyways. Here we go. All right, that's just because double-clicking top of a window does that on Hello System. And there we go. Finally succeeded at FreeBSD Gaming. Only took... Uh, close to an hour, but it is possible to play OpenTTT on FreeBSD. Probably the only game you can easily get working. There we go, row, row, station complete. Okay, get the sig... I guess because, <laughs> maybe because of the... I don't know what year I set this to, it might be... In 1960, I think that says. Path signal, I think you just you just put them like this. I don't know where the... Oh, there is a one-way, but there's no... Feels like there should be more signals. I haven't played this in a while, so maybe they... Now, the idea of, like, the... The row row station is that because it's... The tracks are in a circular formation. You can just go from one train station to the other. Like this. And now i got to add the coal carts. Now I can clone the trains. And I can just send them out. Why would that... What is it waiting for? Just tell it to... Can't even do that. Oh, because they, they don't... Okay, I built the station wrong. Well, that's... I think that's going to be all for this. Thanks for watching.